Okay, guys, I'm here today with Leo Vieira, a huge honor for me. He's the uh, founder and owner of the Checkmat, and uh, he's also like two times ADCC champion and probably like one of the most impressive athletes in the history of Jiu Jitsu. Uh, when I was living in Sao Paulo, for example, I had all these rumors that training for him was always the craziest thing that you could not, you could not even find him in the row. And uh, so he, he's very well known for being like one of the guys in Jiu Jitsu that knows the most amount of techniques in jiu-jitsu and today we just shot an entire structure for him all about guard passing so he's doing a new thing in the guard passing a new type of control that he controls the legs that's really really cool and he shot an entire structure all about that so today he's going to show us here how he does it so thanks so much Jose. Okay. that's good yeah uh so basically so the position is about 50 50. Okay. So the reason I came with this position was because uh, I, I noticed that a 50-50 was a very good position to hold the post on the bottom. Okay. But uh, you got stuck here because you cannot go on the on the you cannot pass. And then I decided to take my leg and then I switch from my hand, my arm. Okay. And then uh this was this was like uh, holding a lot of your attacks, no like butterfly guard, no like spider guard, no lasso, a lot of things that you would you are not able to do it. And then I was they usually close elbow, hands, and I was getting close to me. So I, I was ignoring what do you do with the hands or the legs. The only thing I wanted to get close and, and slowly with the knees in the ground, getting close to you. If you give me space, get it let close, so soon I'm gonna get your back. Yep. So, and then depending on the way the person protects, so protect with the hands, or he, or he move the leg all the way over my head. So this gave me different options to control, to attack, and but uh, to always to be safe. So I was, what I realized with this, I was stalling, I was stuck in the person is stuck. They cannot move, they cannot really attack. And I can have the best shot into, to expose the back or to the pass. I got it. So Lousy, how do you get there? So the way to be is like, uh, you can go from- For the butterfly. For the from different position. I always like, a, I. The one easy setup is giving yourself more distance and ankle, okay. ankle and knee control, and then using your hand to go under. So if, per, if the person is sitting down, so once you lift a little bit, you'll be forcing the person lay down. That's what you get. So that's a, the setup. So that different pass within the ground, different pass the knee up, and different pass if the knee is if the leg is here. Is the legs here. Okay. So you have an entire sequence of passes from. All the situation. reactions that I play because uh, basically, like uh, that's a safe position to I stop recovery because I, I bring I break the pass in two steps. So from approaching to the side control is pretty hard. So I make I make myself to find a safe spot that I can be control the opponent but without be under attack. Got so it. this was it's safe for me because whatever the person the bottom will attack. So I'm able to protect myself. They're not really oh, attack. So, so he can legs. retain, but not really attack. So they're still able to to lock the person Got and save him, save him uh, myself. Uh, so yeah, I'm feeling all my legs. Stuck and here. a lot of the time, there are, there are a lot of bait, a lot of fake, a lot of like, a, I start giving options to a person attack my leg when they move to attack the leg. So they give me like, like press there. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, because uh, the way the leg it is, it's a, that kills a lot of a recovery, okay. retain, and attacks. And, and you can get there from every position. So, for example, if I'm playing butterfly, open guard, close guard. Yeah, because of, yeah, the close guard is basically because of stand up or passing. Like when you open, you're yeah. ready. You're ready. I know. And you're already there. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. So moving the leg. So the way you move in your guard. So that with the way you move the guard, you're ready. Okay. Uh, so Probably the shoes you can get there during. Yeah, for a half guard, so I use the lasso, moving the hands to move, yep. and a scramble. Man, that's amazing. Then, then it locks, so that's even like both legs are locked. I'm completely locked here. Yeah, and then it's easy for I start in holding to control oh, without be under the attack. Good. Well, that was thing, and I was watching you teaching, and you were saying that the fact that you're older now, this is a great position for you because you don't have yeah. to move as much. So how old are you, by the way? <laughs> 44. 44, okay. Yeah. And you're still training every day with the... Yeah, every day when, uh, when they let me train. I got it. <laughs> no, because Sunday I'm so sore. So I got usually it. I like to train in Monday, Wednesday, break uh, Monday, Tuesday, break Wednesday, 
and then Thursday, Thursday and Friday. Friday. Oh yeah, and you use these pads all the time. Oh, you know, like yeah, these have been saving me a lot. Yeah, oh, yeah. So. yeah, and you were very well known for being the speed guard passing, right? The guy who would pass guard with the speed. So now you're kind of like you found a way now, to change your style. Because like the timing make me make that change. So I, got it. I used to be fast into my opponent and I used to use speed a lot to got it. to to win tournaments. And then I became I, I more I became older and not be fast as more. Got so it. then I have to use more of my power to slow down the opponent. Got it. And then but more older I was getting I was not fast, I was not speed. I'm not fast or not strong enough. So oh, yeah. what's my skill and what would I have to do? The experience, like the the way you read also the the, the like be predictable. You you put the person in the seat, you you learn how to it's like being the in the in the uh like you can you can predict the person what you're gonna do. Oh yeah. So you, yeah, you have that. so much experience that you can predict what to yeah, do. Yeah, so you you know. start to control the situation and only you know, you won't give one option, or you, and then the person goes to the option. You already you expect it, so yeah. you work a lot of the. Right. Of so I was thinking, just one more time here. So I play the butterfly, and you're gonna go to that passing. So. Yeah, butterfly is a step. Let me go one step back. Yeah. Get up from the hook. Then give me this. Give me this. Yeah. So then I, I want to lift. So yeah, even if like like. So I want to lift the leg more and lift yep. the leg. So I have because when I have this, I have no problem yep. with the other option. So my hand, yeah. So I can hold, I can hold. Yeah. So, but I fight with my hand inside the leg. Got it. And the elbow's always here. Got it. So that's basically, it's the control, my shoulder. I got it. So and then to pass, you just go towards my side. I'm going like to pass a... like, if the knee is here, yeah. I go, when is, if, because I work in reaction, depending yeah. on what is he going to do to, because once I control, yeah. he'll be, you'll be the person who wants yeah, so to react. Do, this. do this? Yes. I you pass towards this side. So I got it. Yeah. If, if I you, pass my leg over, if you get yeah, and then I'm gonna grab the ankle and the leg, got it. and got then it. I and then I I bring stuck in here, or I, or I just keep moving myself. I got use it. my more my body weight. So it. I force for he attack my leg to work inside. Yes, because then he and then you're just there. Yes, man, that's amazing. So, so actually, it's about you fight for one control. Yeah. And after this control, you teasing with a different option for the person to give it to you. Okay. So I don't the progress to the, go to the side to score is gonna go according to his reaction. Exactly. Okay. No, so guys, you just shot an entire structure with Lausine, all about this type of passing, which is like new I had never seen before. And he showed his entire sequence of how he does it and came out really, really cool. So it's going to be at bjjfanatics.com soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So make sure to check that out. What was Lausine? Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Was... Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.